Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So two changes that Microsoft is working on regarding the Copilot for the web in the site panel and the new read aloud feature I've been posting on are that uh, the read aloud feature, as I posted earlier today, is on its way possibly to the Windows 11 Copilot for the desktop, and I'll leave that video down below. And then the next change, as I've posted on earlier this month, is that Microsoft is testing options to resize and unpin the Windows Copilot pane, which they are referring to as Edge Copilot 2.1, which will be the next so-called version of Edge's Copilot, the web Copilot found in the browser. Now, as mentioned, both those videos will be down below. And the reason I'm mentioning those previous videos is because both changes tie into what we are going to talk about today. And there is a new uh, change now that Microsoft is working on regarding the read aloud feature, which is an accessibility feature um, that they are now testing, as mentioned, in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser. And once with this change, if you click on the read aloud and it starts reading that response aloud, um, if we head over to a if we head over to a screenshot provided by Leo over on X and a GIF, here we can see this change where um, if you hover over the Copilot uh, sidebar button, playback controls are displayed when you hover, hover over that button, and it shows a speaker icon on the button when any of the chats are being read aloud. So here you can see you can go backwards, forwards, and you can also cue that on the timeline. So those are a couple of handy features for the read aloud feature. So obviously Microsoft is giving this a lot of attention. As yet, um, these new playback controls are not available in the stable version or the actual original read aloud feature. It's still early days, but nonetheless, I thought this was interesting and this could be another change on the way uh, to the AR version of the Edge browser when it comes to Edge Copilot 2.1, where it shows a speaker icon on the button and also those playback controls are displayed when you hover over the button. And if any more info comes to light or this does start making its way through to the stable version, obviously I will keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.